Our universe is a place of immense journeys. Stars are born, they live, they die in spectacular fashion. From these cosmic events, planets are formed, moons are formed, but sometimes an object is cast out. It is thrown from its home system, destined to wander the cold, dark emptiness between the stars for millions, perhaps even billions of years. It travels silently, a lonely pilgrim on an endless voyage. We are just beginning to understand these travellers. We have only recently developed the tools to spot them as they briefly pass through our cosmic neighbourhood, our solar system. One such visitor has captured our complete attention. It is known as 3I Atlas. This remarkable object, 3I Atlas, was first detected as a faint smudge of light moving in a way that defied our expectations. Its trajectory was not a gentle, looping orbit around our sun like a planet or an asteroid from our own system. To peer into the secrets of such a distant and faint object, we needed a very special eye. Humanity has now built such an eye. It is called the James Webb Space Telescope. Floating silently in the cold vacuum of space a million miles from Earth, this observatory is one of the most magnificent achievements of human ingenuity. Its giant golden mirror, a honeycomb of 18 hexagonal segments, unfolds like a metallic flower. This mirror is designed to collect the faintest whispers of light, light that has travelled across unimaginable distances and for immense periods of time. It is a time machine, allowing us to see the universe not as it is, but as it was long ago. The power of the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, lies in its ability to see the universe in infrared light. This is a type of light that is invisible to our eyes, but it is crucial for astronomy. Infrared light can pass through the vast clouds of gas and dust that obscure our view of many cosmic wonders. It allows us to see the birth of stars, the atmospheres of distant planets, and the faint glow of the most ancient galaxies. When 3 I Atlas came into view, the J.D. West was the perfect tool for the job. Its instruments could analyse the faint light reflecting off the object's surface, breaking it down to read its chemical signature. The telescope swivelled its golden gaze towards the interstellar visitor. With unparalleled precision, it locked onto the faint pinpoint of light. The data began to stream back to Earth, a torrent of information that scientists eagerly began to decode. The telescope's spectrographs, instruments that act like prisms, split the light from 3 I atlas into a rainbow of its component parts. Within this spectrum, scientists can see dark lines, which are like fingerprints. Each element and each molecule absorbs light at specific wavelengths, leaving a unique pattern. It is through this method that we can discover what distant stars and planets are made of. For hours, the JWS tracked 3 I atlas as it tumbled through the void. It gathered every possible photon of light, every faint signal that bounced off its mysterious surface. This was not just a simple photograph. It was a deep forensic investigation happening across millions of miles of empty space. The team of scientists knew that the information they were collecting was priceless. It was our first, and perhaps only, opportunity to perform a detailed analysis of a pristine sample from another star system. The world waited to find out what marvels this extraordinary telescope had uncovered from this traveller between the stars. As the data from the James Webb Space Telescope was processed, a picture began to form. It was a picture unlike anything we had ever seen before. The spectral analysis, the chemical fingerprint of 3I Atlas, was astonishing. Unknown metallic alloy signature. The astronomers checked their instruments, they re-ran their models, they scrutinized every single line in the spectrum. The results remained the same. They were utterly baffling. The object was, as expected, composed of rock. Frozen gases clung to its surface. But there was something else. Something that shone with a unique and powerful spectral signature. It was a metal. Not common metals like iron, not nickel either. The signature did not match any known element or alloy found here on Earth, nor any we have detected in meteorites, 
nor on other planets in our solar system, it was something entirely new, a combination of atoms arranged in an unfamiliar way. The discovery sent ripples through the scientific community. It was the kind of discovery scientists dream of. The signature suggested an alloy, a mixture of metals. It had properties that seemed almost impossible. So, what exactly is an interstellar object? Well, the name itself kind of gives us the answer. Inter means between stellar relates to stars. These are objects, comets, asteroids, fragments of planets that are not gravitationally bound to any single star. They just drift through the vast, empty expanses of our galaxy. They are, you could say, cosmic nomads. Most objects we see in the night sky, planets, comets, asteroids, are members of our own solar system. There are neighbours circling our sun in predictable, stable orbits. Interstellar objects, however, are just passing through. Their rarity is honestly what makes them so profoundly interesting. The space between stars is unimaginably vast. For an object to be thrown out of its home system and then, by pure chance, to travel for eons and pass close enough to our planet for us to see it, is an event of incredible improbability. Before 2017, we had never confirmed the sighting of an interstellar object. The first was a strange cigar-shaped object named Oumuamua. The second was a more comet-like body called 2E Borisov. 3I Atlas is only the third such visitor to be confirmed, and the first to be studied in such detail by the James Webb Space Telescope. And with 3I Atlas, it seems we have hit a scientific jackpot. For decades, astronomers' planetary scientists have worked with a standard model for how solar systems form. It starts with a giant cloud of gas dust. This cloud collapses under its own gravity, forming a star at its centre. The leftover material flattens into a rotating disk. Within this disk, small particles clump together, growing into larger and larger bodies, planets, moons, asteroids. We believe this process, with just a few minor variations, was likely the same across the galaxy. We based our cosmic recipe book on what we could observe in our own solar system. The discovery of the unique metallic alloy on 3I Atlas challenges this entire framework. It suggests that the ingredients available in other parts of the galaxy might be different. The primordial cloud that formed the home system of 3I Atlas may have been richer in certain heavy elements. This could lead to planets with radically different compositions and geologies. Imagine a world with mountains of this new, super-dense metal or with oceans of liquid chemicals that are rare on Earth. The possibilities are suddenly dramatically expanded. This finding forces us to be more open-minded. Nature is more imaginative than we are. The universe may not have one standard recipe book, but a whole library of them. Whenever we find something truly new in the cosmos, our thoughts inevitably turn to one of the biggest questions of all. Are we alone? The search for extraterrestrial life has largely been guided by the principle of looking for conditions similar to Earth. We search for rocky planets in the so-called habitable zone of a star where liquid water could exist. But this discovery opens up a fascinating new possibility. If planets can be made of fundamentally different materials, perhaps life itself could arise from a completely different chemistry. Life, after all, is a process based on complex chemistry. Could life evolve on a world rich in this new alloy? Could it use these exotic materials as part of its biology, in the same way that life on Earth uses iron in our blood, calcium in our bones? It's a speculative but honestly thrilling idea. The discovery reminds us that our Earth-centric view of biology might be incredibly limited. The universe might be teeming with life, but it could be so different from us that we might not even recognize it if we saw it. Beyond the search for life, this new material has staggering implications for future technology. The journey of three. Our atlas past our world has been brief, a fleeting moment on a cosmic timescale. It is now speeding away from us, back into the silent star-strewn darkness from which it came. It will likely never enter another solar system but continue its lonely pilgrimage through the void for eternity. Yet, in its passing, it has left us with a gift. It has given us a profound new mystery. It has expanded the boundaries of our knowledge and shown us how much we still have to learn.
The universe is full of surprises. We stand on a small, rocky planet in a quiet corner of one galaxy among billions. For centuries, we've looked up at the lights and wondered. With each step forward, with each new telescope and discovery, we think we're getting closer to a complete picture. We build models and theories that seem to explain what we can see. Then something like 3Y Atlas comes along, a visitor from an unknown place made of an unknown substance that shatters our assumptions and reminds us our picture is far from complete. This discovery is a lesson in humility. Be prepared to be astonished. For every question answered, the universe offers a dozen more. What other wonders? What other materials? What other forms of existence are drifting silently in the dark, waiting for a curious gaze to fall upon them?